Hi, everyone. So uh, today we'll see a few more interview questions. Okay, so what uh, frequently faced interviews? Okay, so the first question, so the recent are asking, so what is mean by CL function? Okay, so what is the use of it? Okay, so this they're asking uh, frequently is like one of the function. So you can see this in uh, expression transformation. Okay, so what is the use of it? I mean, say that, what is the use of CL function in Informatica? Or they can ask like, anytime you have used this function. Okay, so CL, so just CL is a, one of the function which is used to rounding the values near to the integer value what you have it. Okay, so just like it is rounding the value near to your what the integer you provided. So for example, here you can see that I have a integer. So this is applicable for only integers. Again, don't confuse. This is CL function we use for only the numbers, not for the characters at all. So CL function will just round the value. Okay. So how would the how it round the values? I'll just show you. For example, if you take I have a value called 30.6, which is coming from my source or else there is some calculation you have performed in the expression. So the output is 30.6 from that one. Okay, if you use CL function and what will be the output factors? So it will round the value near to this integer. So that means I mean to say that, so what is the nearest value for this? I mean, after this, 31. So you will get an output called Okay, suppose you have 24.1, even though if you mention like this, what is the nearest value for this? 25. So like this, you will get an output. So this is the use of the CL function. It will round the value to the nearest integer value. Okay, and second thing here is, suppose same thing, let's see. Suppose I have a negative values, 30.6 minus 30.6. So what would be the output here? So here, now you can see that it should be 30. So you have, so let's see, minus 23.3. The output should be 23. So this is like a very important, I mean, is the frequent asking, can I explain the CL function? So how it works? So at least you have to take any one example here, any from this one, and you can take any one example and you can explain this. Just it will rounding the value to the nearest integer value. That's it. Okay. So here is the nearest value is 31. Here is 25. So but coming to this one, so it's like reverse, right? If you see the minus, the nearest value is 30. So like this, it works. So this is like a very important, now it is a frequent last this question. What is a C CL function? It's just around the value, or else if you're confused with the point, just around the value. So near to the, the whatever the value you have, just around it. So second thing here is, so can we validate Multiple mappings in Informatica. So answer is no. Okay. So uh, Informatica, if you see, we can validate only one mapping at a time, not more than that. But coming to Informatica data quality, IDQ, so we can validate a number of mappings same time. Okay, because there is a multi tab functionality available in IDQ. So we can open that n number of mappings in the multiple tabs and we can validate it. But coming to that, Informatica. So we can validate only one mapping at a time, not more than that. Okay, so if anyone asks the interview, so you can directly say, no, it's not possible. We can validate only one mapping at a time. Okay. 
that's you have to remember. Third question here is, difference between reusable transformation Okay, so they can ask direct question, what is going to be reusable transformation? Okay, so reusable transformation is nothing but if you create a transformation in transformation developer, developer that acts like a reusable transformation. Okay, that acts like a reusable transformation. So what is the reusable transformation here? Suppose if you create any transformation in, re, I mean, transformation developer, that can be used anywhere in the mapping. Suppose you have a 100 mappings in your folder. Okay, so any mapping you can connect it. Okay, particular term. Suppose I have created an expression. So, I have to use same logic for n number of transformations, sorry, n number of mappings. Okay, instead of creating the same logic multiple times, you may create this expression transformation and I mean in transformation developer. Okay, so then automatically will convert as a reusable transformation if you create here. So that particular transformation, you can connect to any mapping and you can use it. So it will save the time. But the only thing you have to remember whenever you are using or creating a reusable transformation, whenever you have done a changes to this particular transformation, it will reflect into all the mappings. That's what you have to remember. So you should be more careful on that. Okay, so that is the reusable transformation. So, and also you have to remember the point here, it is like a only one transformation. Okay, so it's only one transformation. But again, they were the other question they ask if you say this. So then what's the difference between maplet and reusable transformation? So as you know, that maplet also a similar kind of functionality, which is used to reuse the code. But here, suppose there is a requirement. I have an expression. Okay, after that, I have a filter. So there is a flow. I want to reuse this flow. I mean, there are many transformations. I want to reuse it then you may go with the maplet. Okay, so that is the main thing you have to remember. So a reusable transformation is something but so we can reuse anywhere in the, any, any mapping and it is like a only one transformation. But coming to maplet, it contains a number of transformations. The entire maplet, we re reuse it. Okay, so here we have maplet more transformations, but here only one transformation. But other, there's a one more important entry question here is, so can we create nested maplets? So what I mean to say here is, suppose I have a maplet. What is my nested maplet? If I have a maplet inside, can I create the meaning of nested here is, if I have a maplet, Inside, can I create one more maplet? No, it's not possible in Informatica. No, it is not possible. Okay, but coming to Informatica data quality, IDQ, the same functionality, yes, we can do that. It's valid point there. But Informatica, we can't do that. It's like invalid. So this is like a valid case in Informatica data quality. But Informatica, if anyone asks, can we create a maplet inside one more maplet? No. Or nested maplets? No, it's not possible. That's how to remember. And uh, the fifth question. Mm. Just a moment. Let me get the question. Okay. Um, Can we see that? Okay, so I'll just uh, 
I could see this also. This I already told one more time. Okay, because last time also I told that. So, but again, so this is like the elevator is a frequently asking. Can you explain this throughput? So that's what I'm covering one more time. So throughput. So can you tell me what is meant by throughput? Or else they can ask, right? So where we can see this throughput option. Okay, so don't confuse here. So whenever you right click on your, so first let me explain the throughput is nothing but how many number of records we are processing per second. Suppose we are running your workflow, okay? So in, in session log, standard session log, in run properties, we can see that, right? So how many number of records got, got loaded, how many are rejected, how many are applied, how many are affected like that. So suppose you have 1 million records in your source, okay? So you can see that throughput, that means per second, how many number of records it is loading to the target system. That we called as a throughput. So how many number of records? per second okay so that we call it as a throughput but where you can see this option so right click on your session and go to run properties then source target statistics okay statistics there you can see there's an option called throughput and it will show you clearly their throughput number. Suppose you see under the throughput, there is like a hundred records. That means how many, that means hundred records per second it is loading. So, okay. So that is called a throughput. Okay. So throughput like per second, how many number of records? Okay. So, so where you can see that option, you have to go to run properties, click on the source target statistics, there you have a throughput option. Okay. So that's all for today. So next session, we'll see with a different concept. Thanks, everyone.